take another life. The boss, that's who we really want. Man, we help you. What the hell is he doing? Come on, man, come on. One of these bombs goes off and our city is torn apart. All these people attacked because of what they look like. Not in New York City. Back up really slow. Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Kate Blanchett, NBC Tonight. The new loaded, fiery fried chicken sandwich from Farmer Boys is stacked with fried chicken, pepper jack cheese, bacon, avocado, and fiery farmer sauce. You think you're hot stuff, don't you? Farmer Boys, farm food ain't fast food. Don't worry, Ma, we'll be there soon. We? Is this the one? Well, let's say I found the one who takes me to another level. Most importantly, the one that helps me discover the coolest places. I can't wait to meet her. Definitely the one. <laughs> Introducing the all-new Nissan Frontier. Right now, get 0% APR financing for up to 72 months on 14 models. Farmer Boy's new loaded classic fried chicken sandwich is stacked with fried chicken, cheese, bacon, and avocado. It's a big sandwich for a big shot. The sandwich is loaded. You ain't. Farmer Boy's farm food ain't fast food. NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. Pasadena, where police are now chasing on foot a possible DUI suspect. Ileana Marino, live overhead in News Chopper 4 Alpha. Ileana, the car that stopped there, uh, he just bailed out of that? He did, Colleen. This pursuit coming to a stop here only about a minute ago. We're in a residential area of Pasadena, Worcester Avenue and Orange Grove Boulevard. The car is the one that you see up there on the sidewalk. And this was initially the northeast division of the LAPD that was in pursuit of the driver because they believed that the man behind the wheel was under the influence of alcohol. Now, the vehicle came to a stop there, but the driver, he took off running and ran right into this house here that you see on Worcester Avenue. He went into the back door, and we haven't seen him come back out just yet. The airship knows exactly where he's at, though. That's why they have the night sent overhead. And now what you're going to see the officers of the LAPD do is try to clear the car because they are yet to make call-outs to that car to figure out if anybody else is inside of the vehicle. Uh, initially, all we had heard was that it was just the male driver, but of course, uh, out of an abundance of caution, officers do have their guns drawn, and they're going to approach the vehicle now just to make sure that nobody else is inside. And once they can clear the vehicle, they can focus their attention on taking that man into custody. Again, all happening here in a residential area of Pasadena, just off of Worcester Avenue and Orange Grove Boulevard. That's latest overhead from New Shop Before Alpha. Let's send it back down to you, Chuck and Colleen. And of course, there's a lot we don't know whether the house that he went in the back door is a house he's familiar with or not. And we haven't really seen the officers try to approach the house, have we? Yeah, they haven't approached it yet because they wanted to make sure they could clear the car first and, and just really be comfortable in that aspect to make sure that they're not looking for anyone else. Now, as you mentioned, it's unclear if this is an area that is familiar to him. It's unclear if this is even his home or perhaps a friend's house. But officers had actually gone into tracking mode right before the vehicle came to a stop because he had circled this area multiple times already. So they thought that he was going to bail from the car. So for that reason, they gave him a little bit of room they backed up they left no vehicles uh, from the police department within his line of sight so that he would think that he was no longer being pursued and that he would stop the vehicle and that's exactly what he did he got out of the car took off running and is now believed to still be hiding inside of that home and for what it's worth he certainly appeared to know exactly where he was going as you pointed out he ran around the back of that house ran up to the back door opened it and went inside immediately yeah, he had absolutely no difficulty getting in. Now, if that means that the door just simply was unlocked or if perhaps somebody is inside and unlocked it for him, uh, that's, of course, all going to be under investigation. But as far as we know, the man who was uh, being pursued by the LAPD's Northeast Division officers in, is still inside of this home here on the 700 block of Worcester Avenue in Pasadena. 
All right, we're going to keep an eye on the situation there and get back to it as soon as something develops. Also tonight, some new COVID restrictions, major event cancellations, and now staff and even treatment shortages. The post-holiday surge is really taking a toll all across Southern California. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. And I'm Chuck Henry.